So first two weeks going good, going good. Um, you wake up kind of late, but then you get used to it. So this is one of the hard parts of breastfeeding. Um, you know, every time the baby gets up or to get them on a schedule, Mal's got to come down and breastfeed them. But we're slowly moving the bottles to where she can get some sleep, and then I can breastfeed them. Why not on the bottles? What do you mean? You mean I'm pumping and putting them on? She's pumping and I'm and putting them into bottles. Maybe. I don't know yet. I may get one of those fake boobs with milk in it and just strap it on and do my own thing. Does that tickle your fancy? Yeah. Not a lot of joking at 315A. <laughs> We're now done with feeding. Let me get a little more sleep. Afternoon. Bathy time. Hey, 40. We're gonna take a bath. What are you looking at? I was in the kitchen and I found an intruder. in the spirit of protecting my new family. I'm gonna have to kill it. Not today, wasp. Not now. Not ever. He's in such a like, weird spot. I don't Don't worry, little lady. Young man, you're safe. Thank you. You don't want to do much of Everyone knows, I'll take it, that is a mother, that it's really hard to get out of the house. It, it, we're two weeks out now from having the baby, and it's just been the most blissful, incredible week of our lives. Two weeks. I love being a mom. Kyle loves being a dad. It is nothing but like heaven. I don't know why people say it's it's anything but that. It is so incredibly awesome. I've got to get my nails done. They're like daggers. Whenever we went to the pediatrician, um, I ran into a store and Kyle was able to drive around with Ford and I could run in. So I was like, do you think we could do that again? And Kyle keeps encouraging me to do things like this. But it's just so tough too, like when you're, if you're breastfeeding, cause you're on a three hour schedule. So I, um, I feed him, which takes like 45 minutes. And then I literally only have like two hours until I have to feed him again. And he would sleep through the night if we let him. So right now we're waking him up at four hours to feed him, but now we're about to change to five, which I know there's a lot of different opinions of how to do this and when to do it, but this is what our um, people are recommending and it's working for him, but he's literally an angel. So anyways, we felt like we were good to go out and about. He's great. He's a great little rider in the car seat. And I'm just so excited to um, get my nails done so I don't scratch my little infant. But something that I'm really grateful for, obviously, is to have a husband that is at home able to help me in these first uh, couple weeks. We're really grateful that we work from home because I do not see how in the heck people do this by themselves. Because even though I have a dream baby who's an angel, I mean, it's it's easier for me, I feel like, because I have somebody helping me and, like, it's just... It's awesome because, um, you know, you just need help. So shout out to all the people doing this on their own. I say a prayer for you at night. <laughs> I just want to thank everybody for all their support and every single mom that's like reached out to me. Oh, I would say 99.9% .9 of messages have been totally positive. I had like uh, the little chest strap on the car seat a little bit wrong uh, yesterday and had somebody that people reach out. That, that was my fault. That was Kyle's fault. fault. <laughs> people reached out in such a nice way and were like, hey girl, um, you gotta pull that up a little bit. Like really nice. Not like how everybody says uh, a lot of this mom stuff is. Like everybody's been really positive and I appreciate that. I need to show you guys when we get home all the clothes I bought for him. I'm embarrassed and I will never share the amount of money that I've spent <laughs> on clothes this week <laughs> for my baby. Amazing. Right, right. Yep. 
It's amazing that infant clothes can cost that much. It's like the amount of fabric, fabric on a washcloth. I still definitely uh, have not, uh, I don't have a flat stomach, so I'm sure somebody's going to ask me what my baby's doing here. And um, I'm like sweating profusely because of the hormones, I guess, leaving my body. Uh, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm just excited to be here. <laughs> Happy to be alive and a mom because I love my baby. Dad, do you have any advice as a first time dad? Um, yes, but I'll have to do it when I'm not driving. Oh, okay. Oh, such a dad thing to do. I'm happy <laughs> about that. <laughs> I've got one quick tip. What? Don't be giving your wife any daditude. <laughs> yeah, that was my word. <laughs> He's been giving me a daditude lately. <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> I've been sweet to you. Yeah, you have been sweet. Good dad advice would be... I don't know. I feel like everything's been coming all at once. So there's a lot. and I don't want to just vomit words. Oh, you want it to be it? somewhat helpful. All right. Like somebody I know. Okay. And this is my angel. He got pizza and this on is his side. little outfit. I hope I have this one right now. If I don't, send a help helpful tip. Um, but this little outfit's from Zara, and it like buttons up the front, but you can't see it. And he's just an angel. Mal's getting her nails done. For nah, went to go play a little bit. I asked him what he wanted to get into. He said he wanted to ride around with dad all day and do hood rat things. So we are doing that. He's a pretty good passenger. He just kind of chills and sleeps, I think. Mal asked me for tips. So one tip I would definitely say is if you're breastfeeding or even if you're just feeding them with formula or whatever you're feeding the kid, do it, burp them, and then take them out. Let them get good and milk drunk because he sleeps. He sleeps anyway, but I feel like um, they do a lot better in the car. I say that and then <laughs> he's probably about to throw up all over himself back there. But uh, that's a good dad tip. We're excited Mal is getting her nails done and getting out and doing real life things with her friends. I think that's important because she always seems to be in a good mood. Uh, she's always in a good mood, but it it's almost like she recenters and comes back. So I feel like kind of getting out and uh, spending some quality time by herself for any mom is definitely a good thing. So I'm always pushing her to get out of the house. <laughs> by the way, I'm in park. I'm not driving, filming at the same time. FYI. I'm showing you the one second that my baby cries <laughs> when he's getting changed. Here's a tip. When you're sitting up your changing station, be very cautious of sitting up by a window because the baby will pee on it. Oh yeah, but it washes the windows. It washes it really nice. So Kyle is the, um, so we have this cute little station set up, but it's become a mess. Yeah. I know you're oh, kind of yeah. naked. Oh yeah! Show me my baby. Naked. naked? I know. What do you think? What are we doing today? Oh, hungry dude. Oh, hungry, hungry. Dude. Okay, so that brings me to the second part. Kyle is a diaper slave. I am a literal right, milk slave. Let's get your shoes. So I feed him every oh, yeah. three hours while Kyle's putting wow, his clothes man. on. I feed him every three hours in the day and every yeah. four at night. He's getting ready to start um, being able to sleep through at night. But look at my collection that I have. I've been overproducing a little bit. I've used, been using this Mandela Freestyle, um, but check this out. Stash. <laughs> that it was two week stash. So I just uh, put the label, um, the date, and like how many ounces, and all that. Julie Chrisley here, inviting you to my kitchen as I come to <laughs> So, we're rocking this parenting thing. <laughs> Got the pug and the docket tot. The baby unsupervised on the couch while mom's on the Instagram. <laughs> I'm just playing. If y'all don't watch the Cressleys, it is the funniest show. One of the funniest shows on television. It is awesome. Don't you think, Mal? It's the funniest show ever. Wait, come over here and show... Um, so then he's a little outfit. So I told you guys I would show you some of the outfits I got. This is Feather Baby is the brand, and I've been loving it. This is zero to three months because he's a big boy. You like that camera, Forty? Say, so get that camera out of my face. Quit extorting me <laughs> on the YouTubes. <laughs> your mom like. Button your blouse. Golly. <laughs> Hashtag peep show. <laughs> 
They always tell me that I'm supposed to let him cry a little bit. Um, so Feather Baby, the one that I just showed you, I have three favorite onesie brands. Actually four. Feather Baby, he just likes to be held. A little bit spoiled, it's okay. Oh. Isn't he so cute and handsome? I don't know what I'm gonna do when he goes to school. <laughs> so I just showed you this Feather Baby is one that I love. You should see his closet, he has so much stuff. Yeah, you do. And I really love Kiki Pants. They're really um, stretchy. They have that like stretchy soft material instead of that thick cotton. Look at this one I got. I love that. I miss me. <laughs> kissy Kissy. I have tons of that and I'll show it to you. I'm going to do a whole clothing haul. Um, and then I like Petite Pear is another one that's super cute. Since I've had Ford, actually my whole entire life, philanthropy and giving back has been something that's very important to me and my family and so like having our own child now we're trying to think of you know different ways that we can teach him to give back and just show him how we give back and stuff and um, make that important to our family and I feel like there are just so many ways that you can give back just in your everyday life just with what you've got going on like right then I mentioned on Instagram I started overproducing breast milk and everybody starts sending me these links of how you can donate it to your local NICU or like all these organizations of you know, mothers that can't produce enough. Um, just like, I think there's really easy ways to give back just kind of in everyday life. You guys know that I love these um, dainty gold necklaces like that I wear. So my push present, obviously like this little necklace. Oh, sorry, he's past, he fell out. And then um, this little diamond one too. They're both uh, Jin Zuner and I just love these. And you guys ask me all the time, like, you know, what are some more affordable, like tiny dainty gold necklaces? And then I came across this company that's also like a philanthropic company. So I was like, what a perfect thing because I've really been trying to bring more opportunities to just give back and things that I do and like wear in my everyday life. These are an incredibly uh, great product and a very low price. So here's one of them. So I got this one and this is, if you bought it, it's um, $38, which is a great, great price point, I think, for one of these necklaces. It's obviously not real material, but you just take it on and off. You don't want to wear it in the shower or anything. Avriel is just a really great uh, organization, and it's about saving the elephants. So they've donated like $1.3 million to um, that organization since they started, and they have jewelry. They have some cute little, like, tanks and stuff. So here's a tank from there. Just a cute little summer tank to wear with, like, jean shorts. It's cute. He's really sad about the elephants, too. <laughs> <laughs> Doug's still pissed off about Harambe. I know, he is now. I had to pick up my baby because he was crying. And then there's this one, too. And it's also kind of that link. These are the rose gold ones. And so it's got, like, the evil eye, and it's got this cool moon, and the elephants and stuff. And then a portion of the proceeds of all the sales of everything that you buy off this website um, goes to that cause uh, to like saving the elephants and it's just it's really cool and it's an easy way because you get a cool piece of jewelry or a cool little tank. I have a discount code so you can use Mallory20 for 20% off anything and I decided to do a little giveaway of these necklaces. So one person will win both of these necklaces and all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and just leave a comment and then we'll pick a winner. And then Kyle will um, write the winner on, when will you write it, on the next vlog? Next week's vlog, yep. Next week's vlog in, in the, the description. Caption. I just think that that's really awesome and uh, I've loved this company for a long time. I actually, so look in the description below and you can see, uh, remember my discount code if you wanna buy one of these for yourself. And um, I think these are really great. Great for layering and these little th tanks and t-shirts and stuff like that are super cute for summer and you're giving back. So don't forget about my code Mallory20 if you wanna buy it for yourself. And thanks to Ariella for collaborating with me on this. Alex and Michael are coming tomorrow with Julian. And Julian gets to meet his little bestie Ford. So I want to get him a little matching outfit to do a little photo shoot together. It's funny because it's not me and Alex doing photo shoots together now. East Ford and Juju. And uh, so I love these little I Love Dad. These are kicky pants. I think Justin Timberlake has it for his son. Someone told me that in my comments when I had Ford in this. Um, so I'm going to buy, or I'm sending Kyle right now to Plaid Rabbit. To, which is a cute little boutique in Nashville, to get Juju a matching one. I kind of want I love mom, though. Never happen. Little mom. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to be able to handle yourself at the children's clothing store? No. Without spending an arm and a leg in this college education like I did last time I went in? <laughs> yeah, I think I'll be a little more frugal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 
Post Malone CD is pretty good, by the way, if any of y'all listen to music. I have been given a task to go get a onesie for little Juju and uh, little Forty for when Michael and Alex come this weekend. So I'm heading in to the Plaid Rabbit. Hopefully they'll let me film in there because I'm going to look around. Um, I always try to ask first uh, so I don't get kicked out like I did at the mall. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> if you got a daughter, I'm gonna buy it for my sweet girl. Oh my god. Lynette and Lisa are about to be all over that. I found one of these for Juju. It's zero to three months though, so I don't know if he's gonna fit in it. And then I found this for a little 40. Bunch of sharks. Just found this for Ford as well. Little dog shirt. If any of you guys have had babies, you know how helpful it is if you're lucky enough to have your mom around, to have your mom come and help. <laughs> She's been here helping in Nashville. He keeps holding the baby. Um, but we have a poll to take. So she doesn't know her grandma name, what it's going to be. Do you want to tell them your options that you have and let them see if they have any idea? I actually like Lovey. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I don't know if some people are a fan. <laughs> My sister and I were making making fun of it at first but I think it is kind of cute. I like Lovey. Then we like Grammy, which yeah. is my mom. But I don't know if I want to be Grammy because there's only one Grammy but yeah. so I'm interested in anybody that has a name for me. Yeah. yeah. Give us some suggestions so like if you give us your grandma names or if you're a grandma give us some of your names because um, there's so many cute names out there so. <laughs> Alright boys, say bye. Say bye everyone. He's like, I am it's like enough of this. <laughs> It's a dangerous game, girl, you play with